welcome to a Pippa solo vlog. Although Pete is behind the camera. I'm here. <laughs> I've had a few people asking me about my extensive ear collection. So I thought I would record another updated vlog. I think there's one on our channel, but this will be the updated one as of May 2020. It's probably going to look like a walking advert for Ears Ever After, which it almost is. But I will say at this point, I am not a brand rep, not a brand ambassador. I'm a super fan. Oh no! <laughs> So the, the, the legend goes, I wanted to wear ears in the parks, but the official ones really, really pinched my head. And scrolling on my phone, I put it into Google, Mickey ears or something like that, I can't remember now, um, and came across Natasha's store. So looked at the reviews, people were saying how comfy and well made the ears were. So I bit the bullet and bought two pairs and an addiction was born. And subsequently, I'm actually now friends with Natasha, who runs Ears Ever After. Turns out we're both trained dancers, we've both worked professionally as dancers, and yeah, I actually managed to meet up with her just before we were all put into lockdown. So I'm hoping once we're out of lockdown, we'll be able to see her again. So without further ado, I've made the ears into sections. So this is Christmas. So I absolutely adore Christmas. I'm a Christmas person, not a Halloween person. So I have, this is the entire collection of the uh, Christmas ears. Um, there. So we've got Christmas cookie ears. These came in a um, surprise box that she did. And very cute, I like these ones. And these vintage looking ones. I got these because I thought it was nice to have ones that aren't the traditional red and gold and green, just something a little bit different. Um, some plain sequin ones with a nice snowflake. These have a, I've also got a hairband matching with that one. And it's got a little Pluto. Then these over here, again, I thought these were a different colour to have. And they've got characters on them. It's not everything I wear at Christmas are these colours. The furry ones were a variation on her Marie cat ears. So I asked her for a Christmas bow and no black whiskers and then they sort of magically became some Christmas ears. And these are her baby ears that, I meant to go on a baby, but they quite conveniently um, go on Melvin the manatee. So we'll insert some pictures of him modelling his ears, I'm okay. sure, at some point during this vlog. Then her Christmas spaceship earth ears, which I think are just lovely. Really, and they're a velvet material, and I've also got a matching scrunchie for that one. These were some fabric that she didn't have a lot of, but she made it up for me. Um, it's got a little Mickey on the back. Um, and you, I don't know if the light is picking up, that there's just sort of sparkly snowflakes in that material. Lift it up to me. I don't know if you can see that. It's very, very subtle. No, you can't quite make it out. No? Okay. Not to worry. And then these are super duper. She's, she has a light up um, option on the website where she's basically threaded some fibre op lights through the ears. But the battery pack is so well concealed, it's in the bow. So we will insert a picture of them in the dark yeah. <laughs> with the lights on. Lit up. Yeah. So, yep, that's the Christmas collection. Sequins. I think these speak for themselves, really. <laughs> um, rose gold. These were gifted to me by Natasha. I will... I do have to state, don't I, for legal reasons. <laughs> the the colour trend that kicked it all off in Disney World, isn't it? And um, Yes, these were a surprise inside a, an order that I um, got from her. Uh, the classic mini ears. I've got a matching bow to go with them. Silver holographic. In the sunshine in Florida, they look insane. I have to say, as do the unicorn sort of pearlescent. Yeah, if you ears. move them about a bit, you can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and the millennial pink, but these are a matte sequin, so they don't really shine too much. So they're quite, they're just different, I like them. I have these made up um, custom because all her different sequin fabric she's got, you can custom mix and match all the different sequin colours, so I thought this was quite a fun... Is that a royal blue? Then? It's navy. Navy. 
um, with the holographic silver, which I thought was just a nice change, really. And the rainbow ears. These were gifted to me, but by Peter for my birthday. Yes, they were present. <laughs> they were, and they're very pretty. And of course, rainbow goes with pretty much anything, doesn't it? And then I have these made up custom as well, because I've got a bit of an obsession with grey. And then Melvin has his own baby ears. And I have to say, add gifted to Melvin's. So these were very kindly made for Melvin. <laughs> the other pair weren't. He bought those with his own money. <laughs> these ones were. So yeah. Mix and match. Most of these go with a lot of outfits, so there's the sequins. Printed fabric. <sighs> Do love a print. So going from the top, this Mickey and well, it's kind of the Fab Five really. These were in a surprise box that Natasha did a collaboration with another company, and I honestly cannot even remember what the company's name was. It was a couple of years ago, maybe three or four actually, um, and I remember the ears in the box were basically the only item I liked. <laughs> it wasn't a particularly great surprise box, but I like the ears. <laughs> and then we've got a mini pair, which I was cute. These need a bit of mini. And then another mini pair, but this has got uh, Daisy on as well, and they're cooking. It's got Daisy with a baby. Mini making some cupcakes. And there's a cake, and mm -hmm. I thought these were fun. Donald? Yes. You can't go wrong with Donald, can you? No. And all the bows are customisable, so you don't have to have the colour bow that I've got here. Some of these um, prints are still in the shop, and some of them she might not have anymore. And then the Disney dogs. I'm sure this was a Dooney. Yeah, I've seen that. As well, and leggings I think you can get, but it's got all the different Disney dogs on. Which is cool. And we've got the first of a few Star Wars pairs. These yeah, are the that's... dark side. Ooh. Pairs with Kylo on. That's true. I think it normally, she regularly does a, a black bow, but I thought white just sort of lifted it up a bit. Yeah. Back. And pew pew on the back. Pew pew. Then a nice sort of rustic pair. Sort of Mickey out in the woods. We'll miss um, Lodge sort of. Yes, of all these one when there's a moose on the back. I wore these when we went to Sequoia Lodge at Disneyland Paris. So now we need to take Wilderness Lodge so I can wear those again. Yep. Then this print was pretty much identical to another Dooney print. Actually, it matches one of the Dooney bags I've got pretty well. I think it's called Sketch, this uh, print. Oh, okay. There we go. Again, you can have whichever colour uh, bow you fancy. Aliens! I do love this <laughs> Yeah, and I, I went without um, sequins for this one. I thought crushed velvet looked pretty. And that's the same on the back. Point of mansion. Always handy for Halloween. In case I am ever there yeah. for Halloween, I do have a backup pair. <laughs> Gotta love that um, dining room. Haunted mansion dining room print. Yeah. And poo! These I've worn a couple of times to Crystal Palace for breakfast. Because they have poo and piglet on them. Well. Yeah, you've probably seen them in the vlogs. Yes, it's very reminiscent of a Kath Kidston print, yeah. to be honest, this one. And you can't not have flamingos, can you? So I've got a flamingo pair there with Minnie. Woohoo! Quite fun. Hmm. Yeah, I don't take all of these on holiday, on each trip. I do have to whittle it down a bit, don't I? Yeah. Right, next section. Okay, some print and some rounded ears. So again, starting at the top, we've got uh, rainbow crushed velvet. I don't know if you can see in the light. Yeah, they do they sparkle. Have a yeah. Shimmer to them. Again, rainbow. Kind of going to go with most outfits. I figured. This is my most recent pair. Purple wall ears. Look at that print. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I figured I need purple wall ears. Yep. So yeah, they are definitely in the shop. And I think this was my previous purchase before those. Uh, rose gold, but they're a velvet and they sort of look vintage, yeah. speckled. Again, the, the uh, velvet ones are super, super, super comfy. Not that any pair is aren't uncomfy, they really aren't. Um, the first two pairs that I bought that kicked off the obsession were my Spaceship Earth ears, because Epcot's favourite park, and Animal Kingdom. 
Yes, Animal Kingdom runs a close second, I think, for us too. Yeah, definitely. It? And again, super comfy. Absolutely love them. Needed some light side ears. If I had the uh, dark side, BB-8. Needed to have um, some light side. Springtime Spaceship Earth. And that's really pretty. Cast members have commented on these before, haven't they? Yeah. Then, oh, I didn't do the end of that row. So that's Steamboat Willie. Yeah. Very cool. And these were gifted to me by Natasha. These crushed velvet and white. I chose the colours, but they have my Twitter handle on the back. This was before we started the channel of Broadway's Away. And she said, I'm making a pair up for myself and... I'd love to make you up a pair and then there'll be the ones that are on the website to um as the pictures for selling them. So yes, that was very, very kind of her to make me these. Maybe pink it's... crush velvet because I love pink and the velvet are super comfy. And um, then I'm just gonna go across to Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. Very handy, obviously for the Magic Kingdom and Pirate Night on a Disney cruise. They were great when we were on the fantasy last year. And then finally, these this pair she custom made me from scratch. I asked her to make me a Boba Fett pair for Star Wars because Pete's favourite character. Sorry, who? Boba, Boba Fett. Bobo. Boba, not Boba. Boba. Booby Fett. <laughs> Pete's got a vast array of uh, t-shirts, and I thought, well, I need something to sort of match. And she emailed me the design and just went, "What do you think of this?" And I went, "That's amazing." It's great. And again, it's a cr it's a crushed velvet. And again, so really, really comfy. So yeah, I really like them. When I wore these at Galaxy's Edge, um, Chewy wasn't impressed. No, he wasn't. He looked at me and went... Rrr, 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 rrr. And ran off. Yeah, I wasn't happy. <laughs> okay, last three pairs. So, Disney Cruise ears. When we went on a Disney Cruise, I had to have a cruise pair. Rude not to, really. Uh, yeah, they're just very cute. And this is this is actually sparkly. If you can see that in the light. See that in the... No. What am I looking for? The fact that this Mickey anchor is slightly yeah, it's, sparkly. Yeah, it's glittery, but yeah? it okay, cool. probably won't show up. Yep. Nautical red, white and blue. Now, shock horror. Might need to sit down. My last two pairs are not from Ears Ever After. These are from Chasing Childhood. And this pair, I do believe, when she was on Etsy, I will leave a link in the description of this uh, vlog, the, the company websites. I think I was her third ever customer because both um, Corinna, who runs Chasing Childhood, and Natasha is ever after. They both started on Etsy, but now they've, they've grown so much, they've um, got their own websites. So I loved this retro Epcot vibe. So yeah, I think I was her second or third customer and it's even got sort of the jewels on the back. These are super sparkly in the sunshine, aren't they? And then recently, because we're hopefully going on another cruise, uh, I bought her cruise ears. So these are just absolutely beautiful. All her ears are like this. They're all bejeweled and crystals and there's so much detail. a bit detail closer in so you can see the detail. These are very detailed. Little Mickey symbols, anchors. Got anchors, and... ship's wheels. Yeah. All the compass and red on the back. And there's still detailing on the back and her little logo here so yeah so that's my ear collection as of may 2020 and some of you have also asked me how do i store all these ears so let's get around to the holders right so ear holders so this is the ear holder collection these again are made by Natasha, it is ever after. This is the longer length uh, holder. She does make a slightly shorter length. All the different fabrics, she's got loads of different fabrics you can choose from. You can choose the colour of the end, you can choose the symbol, or whatever it is, the emblem, whatever you want to call it, along there. This is the longer length one, and they will happily house nine pairs of ears so if anyone was wondering i don't know how much the shorter ones would hold because i don't have one of those so they quite sit happily quite happily 
Simple as that. So they look, they look really pretty. Keeps a shape in that. I do it? keep a dust cover over them though. Yeah, the wheel. Yeah. yeah. So at the moment, this one is sitting in a cupboard because it's bare. So, you know, I've got to get shopping again, really, haven't I? Yep. Can't have an empty holder now, can I? So, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that little look at my uh, collection. I sound a bit like the Little Mermaid now, don't I? Um, yeah, Ears Ever After and Chasing Childhood links will be in the description of the vlog. So please like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thanks.